How are you? Are you just joining us? Welcome. This is Why in the Morning on your favorite channel, Y254. And I would just like to remind you how you can interact with us at Y254 on Facebook, Y254 channel on Twitter, Y254 underscore channel on the gram. You can stream us live, by the way, on Daily Motion, or you can just watch us here. Either way, we are here. You're welcome. We're going to have a good time, all right? So we just had two very interesting conversations, one with Stephanie Ayeta and the second with Brian Sakwa 101. And we're about to have our last convo of the day. Talking money, one of my favorite things to talk about, yes. There's a quote Kenyans like to say. I don't know if it's all Kenyans, but Tulisema, Tulisema, Tulisema ni watu, Tulisema ni mimi. One day you could be saving nice, 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 nice. Then tomorrow the money that you have saved is saving you. We're about to find out how to break that chain chain, all right? <laughs> Hashtag is why the morning. Let me allow my guest to introduce himself. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. Yeah? You look I'm good. good. Oh, thank you. Please introduce yourself to the people. All right. Uh, my name is Tom mm -hmm. Charles. Uh, Tom Charles is a speaker and founder of Motisha. Mm -hmm. uh, Motisha is a public speaking and training company mm -hmm. where we offer public speaking services, mm -hmm. including motivational talks, mm -hmm. seminars, leadership training, mm -hmm. and financial management trainings. Mm -hmm. So our main base market is like uh, institutions, mm -hmm. uh, s schools, principals. Uh, we have youth groups where we handle investment issues. Yes, and mm -hmm. then... Uh, in the corporate world also, we do sales training for salespeople. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're my favorite kind of guest. All I wanted was your name and your, your social media, but you've given me everything. I like, oh, look at his face. <laughs> you've not done anything wrong. It's yeah. fine. It's no, fine. Like, yeah, it it's, is fine. Yeah. All right. So you've just described Motisha. This is yeah. a company that you run? Yeah. Yeah. You're the founder and CEO. Founder. Founder. Yes. Not CEO. No, no, see. Is that difference? Yeah, yeah, there's a difference. What's the difference? You can change the CEO, you can't change the founder. Sorry. So sorry. So sorry. Okay, I think yeah. we're going to have fun with this conversation. <laughs> All right, today. We should. W yeah? Mm, we should. You have said motivational speaking, um, public speaking, and, and things like that. So yeah. you do the training yourself? Yeah, I do the training. Oh, really? Yeah. How does that work exactly? Uh huh. From point A to point Z? M right. Maybe B. Uh -huh. uh, we book an event, mm -hmm. create content, package content, go to the event, deliver content, whether it's training, whether it's a seminar, whatever it is, we deliver the content and everything in between. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So today our main focus is financial literacy. Yeah. What is financial literacy? Knowing about money. Mm -hmm. What is money? How does money work? How do you get it? How do you keep it? How do you use it? Mm -hmm. And how will you lose it? Oh, yeah. people don't really talk about that. But people do lose money, right? All the time. Yeah. All of yeah. the time. Now, in this age and era of, of taxation, we have a taxation bill that has just been tabled to Parliament. And they are taxing everything from wigs <coughs> <coughs> to washers. <laughs> It's just ridiculous. Honestly, the taxes that are coming, the excise tax, the VAT is, is at an all-time high. How do we learn how to spend wisely? Uh-huh. You know, uh, for you to spend, you first need to, like, earn it. Mm -hmm. So I think, like, for beginners, we need to start from, like, how do we talk about receiving the money in the first place? Because, mm -hmm. you know, uh, we have this notion of, I, I, I'm going to make money, I should make money. Uh, we don't make money. Mm -hmm. De La Rue does that and Ooh. case closed. Mm -hmm. That's a story for another day. Mm -hmm. we, we take money, we receive money, there's an exchange of, of money. Yeah, and uh, from, from my end, my like perception, like money is a thank you note. You understand? Mm -hmm. And when, when you <laughs> do something for someone, mm -hmm. uh, all, all, all today is like, a thousand years ago, mm -hmm. they'd be like, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Right now, you go, you're, you're so hungry, you go to that hotel, you eat, and you're like, thank you? Do you do that? You'd be like, thank you. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So like, uh, it's a thank you note. So for us, that understanding is important so that uh, when you have lots of it, you're like, I'm adding value. Mm -hmm. You're like, I'm, I'm doing great stuff to people, and they're saying, thank you. Thank you. 
-hmm. But then when you don't have any of it, you're like, who did you serve again? No one. What value did you bring? None. What problem did you solve? Mm -hmm. So who said thank you? Mm -hmm. No one. Mm -hmm. So do you have the money? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. So how do we lose money? Ah. And how do we know we're about to lose money? Hmm. When we try saying thank you to so many people mm -hmm. without receiving so many thank yous. When we try... <laughs> Where? Your lingo is so it's, it's, enticing. It, and, and I think that is like the easiest way to put it. Uh -huh. When we try to like uh, use it to get so much than we have earned. And earned in the sense of the value that we've given. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if, if I did a job and I got like a thou, and someone comes to me with something interesting, a shoe, a suit, or anything, and it's 3,000, what do I do? Mm -hmm. <whistles> Branch, I'm shwari, I'm copper, mm -hmm. anything. So I, I want to bring to myself something that is worth more value than the value I've brought to the marketplace. And so I'm buying these at like a value which is so high. Mm -hmm. And of course, I'll spend above mm -hmm. what I have or what I can afford. Mm -hmm. And then it's gone. Mm -hmm. And then there is always that desire. Anytime you have money, you'll spend it. As long as you have money, you're going to spend it. Mm -hmm. If you have 1,000 or if you have, let's say, 10,000 mm -hmm. to live with for a month, mm -hmm. the month will end, you'll have zero. If you have like uh, 20,000, the month will end, you'll have, you'll have spent all of it. Mm -hmm. So like the way our brains work is like, if it's there, it will be spent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if I have some cash, where are the opportunities to spend? Ah, nice shoe, all right, I have something nice, a hotel, uh, mm -hmm. it will be all gone. Mm -hmm. When you don't have it, you don't have those options, so you're like, just in the house. Mm -hmm. Just staying there, Netflix, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just Netflix and, and chill, mm -hmm. yeah, because you don't have the capacity to spend mm -hmm. as much, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. The one they need urgently. Ah, you're shouting, you're shouting, you're shouting. <laughs> hey, you shouted. Hey. But what's the remedy to that? Because as you've said, <coughs> excuse me, as youths, to na kwanga to na na kadamu flani, you know, and it's it's, it's exciting yeah. uh, just coming out from school or coming out from whatever phase of life we've just come out, and then coming into the workplace. And finally, we're being told our first thank you, yeah, thank you. and and yeah, we want to do something with it. We want to feel like yo nani, I'm independent, eh? Mm -hmm. Nobody can ah. And I want the brand newest phone. I want, like you said, the shiny shoes. I, I just want every. I want to smell like money, buana, musinionevo. How do we remedy that? How do we come to the sober mindset of, by the way, see mas ni tumia salari mzima. It's it's oh, it's an understanding of why that happens in mm -hmm. the first place. Why does it happen? Uh, Do first of all, mm -hmm. uh, self-esteem issues. Wow. Yeah, if you like uh, peg your self-worth, self-esteem, your courage. Oh, with you're smart. Mm -hmm. huh? You're very smart. Sorry. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with how much you have, mm -hmm. like with how much you can present, mm -hmm. like with how you can package yourself, like the physical expression. Mm -hmm. And then when you have lots of cash to spend, mm -hmm. you'll be like, yeah, 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 in high spirits. Mm -hmm. When you don't, <sighs> when you have something to spend, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm when you, you, you are in a room and like you're the best dressed, you're like, bus, ah, I'm in that zone. Mm -hmm. But when you're in a room and you feel like, ah, that guy, ah, hey, but look, he's way above me, you feel like, ah. Uh -huh. Self-esteem is pegged on what you have mm -hmm. to show. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and then the second thing is peer pressure. Mm -hmm. You know, we think peer pressure is the, the high school thing, you know, to copy assignments, to do this. No, peer pressure exists in our society right now. And so you just uh, have your first job, you've landed your job, you've been com confirmed, permanent and pensionable, or, or, or whatever stuff. And then everyone in your circle expects you to live in a certain way. Mm -hmm. 
everyone expects you to present yourself in a certain way. And even at home, when you go back home over holidays, people expect you to be the guy, to be mm -hmm. the lady. Like, are you sure you just want to use like border when you can do like no Uber and stuff TV. and, mm -hmm. you know, because now there's that expectations. Mm -hmm. And then we also feel like, ah, anyway, mm -hmm. let me just, eh? mm -hmm. I don't really want them to know that I don't have, mm -hmm. you know. Of course I work, maybe, especially those guys who work at uh, financial institutions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the pressure there, you know, it's, it's just worse. something else. Mm. Yeah, I've, I've been there for a while. Really? Yeah, and so you find, like, you're so broke, mm -hmm. but then you have to keep up the appearances. Mm -hmm. And then people see you, you know, you're employed, and someone asks for your thaw urgently, mm. but you honestly don't have. Mm -hmm. Like, you... Bele <laughs> Did you just? <laughs> uh -huh. You don't have. Uh -huh. But you can't tell them why, because you're working. Mm -hmm. And in Nairobi, mm. yeah, that, that is someone from home. Mm. They won't understand. Mm -hmm. So you have to go in debt mm -hmm. just to like satisfy that, mm -hmm. to cover your face, mm -hmm. put on that facade. I'm good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm tell you a secret. Yeah. There's a time, and this memory has stuck with me for some reason. I think it, I, I, it changed my life when I became an actual adult. So, Nikiwa Mdogo, there's a time, I, had, um, I don't know, something was happening in the family. I think there was a, an event of some sort, but kulikuwa tu na watu kwa nyumba. So I had an uncle. Uncle, kwanza ndi ame check in na gari. Uncle, hi! Mzade, 20 bob, nataka kubai sweetie. Sina. What do you mean you don't have 20 bob? What do you even mean? What 20 bob? Nikitu ya kukosa. Sisa mbono na kajamu. Mbono na nijima 20 bob. But, but, maybe, alikuwa na thao. Aku kwa na 20, alikuwa na thao. Sorry, but. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, alikuwa na thao. You're throwing mud on the story, but you have a point. You have a point. Nige itisha thao? Yeah, probably, maybe alikuwa na. Next time, next time, nige itisha thao. But the point is, mm, uh, yeah. growing up, you mm -hmm. could realize that by the way, you could 50 bob in no job. Yeah, sure, sure. Na you could have a job, you don't have. Mm -hmm. eh, how do we become financially liberated? Because that's a goal I have in life. All right, all right. before that, they, 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 they usually say, most of us, when we get our job mm -hmm. or, or get into that business, mm -hmm. we usually believe at the end of the month, we will have lots of money. Mm -hmm. But then what happens is, at the end of the money, there's still a, a lot, lot of, of the month. month yeah. So it's like, a wake-up call, you'll be like, oh, kwa, ni, kwa ground vitu ni different, mm -hmm. you understand? Mm -hmm. But now when it comes to financial literacy, it's like the, the willingness and the commitment to like just know, to just know about money. Mm -hmm. Like the avenues to receive, like the avenues they'll get out, and just be able to like secure those and then to grow it. Mm -hmm. That is investing and everything. Mm -hmm. You'll be like, all right, now I have this much. Uh, do I want to like just keep this much or do I want to like risk mm. and like potentially earn so much more mm -hmm. or maybe lose it all, you know, so that risk. W learning will help you like make an educated risk or if you can say that, mm -hmm. so that, yes, you're putting your best foot forward, but at least you know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, for most of us, we've had like cash, we've thrown it somewhere, we didn't really quite understand the thing, mm -hmm. it disappeared, mm -hmm. and then we were like, uh, what happened? Mm. And for us, it's an understanding that everything is not just about having the money in your hand. Mm -hmm. It's not just about, okay, I have it here. Mm -hmm. It's also about like, how did I, how did it get here? Mm -hmm. For some of us, it gets here because we worked the whole night. Mm -hmm. For some of us, it got here because we spent our money on an investment. We invested in someone else's business. Mm. So while that business was running, we were also doing our own thing. And so it got here. Mm -hmm. Then again, the second thing now, after it getting here, uh, where will it sleep? Mm -hmm. You know, will it be like my fancy desires? Mm -hmm. Will it be like addictions and stuff? Will it be like me being just re reckless? 
-hmm. yeah. Because any of those, yeah, you'll, you'll have lots of it. Just a quick one. Mm -hmm. There's so many people who believe, I, if I earn like 100K, man, I'll never be in debt. Like never. Mm -hmm. Like never. Mm -hmm. People earn like millions and they're in debt. Mm -hmm. So like when you have lots of money, the desire just grows. Mm -hmm. you, you get more and uh, instead of like vids, now you want something else. Mm -hmm. You want filter. Mm -hmm. Now you are in that space and the paycheck in increases. Ah, now it's higher. Mm. Hey, now Toyota. Ah, it's not Toyota anymore. Who does let, that? Let, 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 let's go to BMW or mm. Audi and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like you grow the paycheck, the desire grows. Mm -hmm. So unless you are able to like, all right, this is enough. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't have to move to a two-bedroom house. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just okay right here. Mm -hmm. and, and until you are in that position, like, yeah, I need like maybe one shoe every three months mm -hmm. and not like three shoes every month until you're in that position, you'll earn more, but it will still find a way to slip out of your hands. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have a strange question to ask, and this is just me being curious. This to call May. May is um, Mental Health Awareness Month. Yeah. It sounds a lot like mental health is very in touch with money and, and finances because you've talked about addictions mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. that's something where your money can honestly just be siphoned for no reason. You, you've talked about self-actualization where you know you don't have to compete with anyone. You don't need to this is job description, part yeah. of work. Uh, you want, or I see someone else who, who is driving a particular brand of car, and I say, I got Kwani Unipendi, so Niende Nichukwe alone, don't scare me, come on, Kitu. So it sounds like mental health has a lot to do with it. Uh, I, I would say money has a lot to do with that other one, mm -hmm. but it's more or less the same. Mm -hmm. They say money is not the most important thing in the world, mm -hmm. but money influences every important thing in the world. Wow. And, and, and mental health is one of the most important things in the world. Mm -hmm. So like, just, just an extension, money will influence your marriage, money will influence your education, hey, the level and everything. Eh? Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm like a yeah, speaker yeah. and everything, so it's... Yeah, yeah. yeah like <laughs> Shouting the terms of you're talking a lot of truth. Oh, uh -huh. oh, oh, hey. sorry about that. Uh, money will influence like uh, the love, family, how closely knit. Mm -hmm. It will influence religion, to inge pale shakahola and stuff. Money will influence everything. And so, uh, even your mental health, uh, if... <laughs> <laughs> hey, sorry, I had to take a moment of right. silence. Right. Where he went, uh, okay. Yeah, it's religion. Okay. Mm -hmm. Religion and money, they're just connected. Mm -hmm. So like money is connected to everything. Mm -hmm. That's just basically it. Mm -hmm. So even mental health, money is connected to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, the, the things we call money wounds. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, for example, there are some of us, if, if, for instance, I bought this suit like X amount. If I'm asked at home how much I bought it, I'll be like, X minus like 1K or like 1500, halafu na sema yo, price ya chini. Like people will ask you, how much do you pay for rent? Instead of like, ah, it's, it's 17,000, you'll be like, ah, this one, just 12,500. Mm -hmm. You are kind of ashamed to be like, to really tell the truth. Mm -hmm. Because of how you perceive you and them, mm -hmm. you don't really want to make them feel bad or mm -hmm. anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then there are those of us who money, is that thing, as we say, that brings them excitement. Mm -hmm. Or money is that thing that they have to like, have keeps them on, on their toes. They spend it so that they don't have, so that they can work. Mm -hmm. If they have, I. If they have, I. <laughs> mm. Hey boss, uh, today, hey banner, today <laughs> I'm. I'm <laughs> And and uh, now in addition to that, we have something called uh, money comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Like th there's amount you are usually comfortable with, and and even with the salary or anything. Yeah, it's just like the normal comfort zone. But when it comes to money, when you get into this, if it's like sixty thousand to like seventy, if if especially those who are in business or sales, you know that the salaries and, and wages fluctuate, mm -hmm. 
if you earn way below that, you're like, uh uh, no, this is, uh -uh, this is not me. You get to that zone, you are okay. You realize you are going to exceed your targets for the month, you've like reached that zone, and it's like third week, the last week you want to be working. Mm -hmm. Because you reached your zone, and chances are high you are going to exceed it. So you just lazy around because you, you're there. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's quite important in addition to like understanding your mental orientation towards money, mm -hmm. like understanding your safe space when it comes to money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are people who, if, if 10K is not somewhere, uh, or 100, they are, they are not okay, comfortable. Mm -hmm. There are people, if 10K or 100 is there somewhere, mm -hmm. they're also not comfortable. They just want to be jumpy and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so we've talked about actually making the money. It's in our hands now. Talking about how to spend it. So that, <sighs> I, want to, I want to phrase it intelligently. How at 254 on Facebook, Y254 channel on Twitter, Y254 underscore channel on the gram. Hashtag of the day is Y in the morning. We're just we're talking about financial literacy with Tom Charles over here, uh, the founder of Motisha. And we are trying to demystify a couple of things money related. So the thing I see troubling youths a lot is, okay, to me work hard. Mm -hmm. and, and had is, you know, from whether you're self-employed, whether you have odd jobs, am I your salaried, wh whichever way the money is coming, it's coming. But it's not staying. And, and does saving mean that you have so much money, now you have enough to save? Or is saving a mentality for, okay, I, I don't have the amount maybe I wish to have, but I will intentionally set aside this amount to save? And what's, when do you start investing? When you've saved enough, or which one comes first even? Savings or investments? Which one is smartest? All right, to answer the last question first, you, you need to save first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, uh, most of us, when we are looking for avenues to like invest, like start a business and everything, we ask ourselves, like, where, where am I going to get like the funding, the capital and everything, you know? and loan yeah loan but you see that's that's a very bad idea mm -hmm. a terrible one why because uh the first business is likely going to fail like chances are so high it's going to fail there's so many things you don't know about the business there's so many things you have not learned there are so many mistakes you're going to make and so the business is going to fail so it's it's better you put your own money like month in month out you save a portion of whatever you are earning king is a pale if it fails, it fails with your cash. You go cry in the bathroom for two hours for the whole night. Like a Chelsea fan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> when you come back in the morning, mm -hmm. you are okay. Mm -hmm. You are at zero. Mm -hmm. But if you use like someone else's money, you go cry. Uh, when you come back in the morning, you are in debt. Mm -hmm. and now you have to start like the depression and the thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so save to invest. And then when the business is growing, you can take out debt to boost it. If you're now sure ah, this is taking shape, huh? now I, the, 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 the resources I have cannot sustain my clients. Like I need a, an office space. Ah, now I need like one more uh, assistant or like uh, an employee. Oh, now I need this equipment. Now you go take out loan because you have verified your business concept that it works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, just because that business worked out for someone does not mean it's going oh, okay. to work out for you. Mm. So until you confirm and verify that it will work for you, mm -hmm. just use your own money. Yeah. Uh, the, the first one was uh, the first part of the question. Uh, the difference between, no, you just answered the difference between savings and investments. Oh, yeah, yeah. So do you, how do you need... Oh, the savings is it's, it's that right. it's too uh, you have a lot of it money. It has clicked. Uh, uh, so you, you cannot tell yourself, like, when I have <coughs> enough, Excuse I me. will save. Mm. You will never have enough. Mm -hmm. You will you'll just, like, never have enough. Mm -hmm. So what happens is there are two main important things when it comes to finance. There are important things. Oh, there are two things we need to consider. Mm -hmm. Important things and urgent things. Mm -hmm. Savings is, it, is very important, like extremely important. It's not urgent. Mm -hmm. it, 
no one will point a gun to your head, be like, save some cash this man. Mm -hmm. No one does that, right? It's, it's not urgent, but it is very important. important. But so when, when money comes in, most of us, we focus on the urgent things. Mm -hmm. Rent, okay, 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 shopping, shopping. Okay, 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 uh-huh, okay. The urgent things only. And, and so if you don't have a budget, you, you didn't like note things down like the expenses you have for the month, you will come to realize like, okay, I've spent money on everything that is urgent. Mm -hmm. I've left out things that are important. important. I've left out uh, some cash for savings. I've left out maybe some cash to like philanthropy or stuff, if that is something you do. Mm -hmm. I've left out some cash for myself, mm -hmm. like self-care and everything. Those things are important, mm -hmm. but they're not urgent. urgent. Mm. And so when, when it comes to saving, it's like, just receive your cash and be like very intentional mm -hmm. with it. Yeah. Talk to me about budgeting. You've said that and I think it's very important. So for example, uh, if my salary is 10,000 shillings, my re how, and also should dictate where I live, right? The amount of money coming in should dictate where I live because yeah, yeah, I cannot yeah. be earning 10,000 and, and my rent is 8,000, mm -hmm. correct? So work me through budgeting. Budgeting, they say, they say budgeting is telling your money where to go mm -hmm. instead of wondering where it went. No, my pants lines. A tea? Telling no, your no, money no. where to go instead of wondering where it, where went. it went. Yeah, you, we've okay. all had that tao, and we are like, wait. No, <laughs> no, not that one. You in Guinea? No, this one. Where did that go? You know. Yeah. So because uh, what happens is we take our good time mm -hmm. when we know that ah now it's in the account mobile banking. So five k I'm going to send. 7k I'm going to pay rent you, you know you're budgeting but with your mind and of course in five hours you're going to forget and when you forget what happens you go back to default which is handle what is urgent first mm. yeah, you had a list of very, very important things in your mind yes but now when you've forgotten about the list your mind goes to what was very urgent mm. yeah the the issues that you think are very pressing you will handle all of them and then at the end of the day, you're like, oh, oh, mm -hmm. where do I get money for this? Mm -hmm. You understand? So uh, ideally, uh, what is recommended would be like 10% uh, saving mm -hmm. for starters, or like five, because it's like, it's, it's the consistency and the habit that matters at, at first, mm -hmm. so that you get into that zone. You'll be like, I am someone who saves money. Mm -hmm. and you understand? you be like, I am someone who does this because it's like for like the last 12 months you've been saving. Mm -hmm. That is who you are, mm -hmm. you know. So 10% is acceptable or five, depending on how you are, mm -hmm. because of course everyone is different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A and then the others you can now go with like, how much do you want to set aside if you have debt? to pay because we, we do like have debts, mm -hmm. uh, living expenses. Now, when it comes to expenses, it's like at least not, not more than 30%, but let's say 25, mm -hmm. should go to housing. Yeah, so if it is, where? Not fair. If it is 10K, mm -hmm. hey, mm -hmm. but that is like, now that is important. If you want to live in a good house, mm -hmm. yeah, just increase your earning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but so make sure. <coughs> Excuse me. Twenty-five mm -hmm. percent goes to like the housing. Now you have like a, a good. Let's say you you started with like five percent savings mm -hmm. because it, this is something you've never done. The problem with us that is where you started with like you save some nine k. And then the next day it saves you. Mm. Because you, you, in your mind, I'm like, now this month, uh, 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 this month, ili account iko KCB <laughs> or COP or equity, mm. itanitambua, nitaeka pesa hapo vipasa. Mm. Itashtuka. Itashtuka. Mm -hmm. KCB watanipigia. <laughs> <laughs> Waniulize kunaenda aji. Hey, you're funny. You know, you know, you know. <laughs> uh -huh. and, and so you just jump all in. Mm. You know, you don't have a strategy, you don't, you don't have a habit, it's not in you. Mm -hmm. The next day, whoosh, Mashida Tup, mm -mm. the urgent ones. Mm. Ay, sh -ay, sh -ay, sh -ay. What is that pin here, KCB? Did, mm. I, did I apply for <laughs> mobile banking? <laughs> and then you go 
and withdraw. Mm. But if it is a consistent habit, mm -hmm. you know that this has some intention. Like, am I saving, maybe mostly for three things, am I saving for emergencies? Like, we all know emergencies will come, like mm. it will pop up. Mm. Like someone is sick, like you've lost something, like this has happened, emergencies will, will pop up. Yeah, are you saving for that? Do you have enough for like a month's upkeep or two months' upkeep, mm -hmm. you know? And pro possibly, if, if possible, like just save for a while and when you reach some threshold, just leave that account. Then, you know, this one is for emergencies. Yeah, in case, in case your close uh, family member or someone who's really close to you wants like thou urgently, you're, you're not going to your salary or, or somewhere else. You have like a fund for emergency. In case things go bad at work, you have like somewhere to fall back on. You understand? And this is a question we, we usually want to ponder mm -hmm. on during our seminars, depending on, of course, on the level of the guys we are interacting with. Mm -hmm. We'd be like, maybe, if, if you have a 5,000 problem right now, how will you handle it? Mm. Or if you have a 10,000 problem, dip, of course, depending on, on our audience, mm. you know? And so you, you find guys who, are, who earn like 30 or 50 or 70K, but if they have a 15,000 problem right now, they'll go in debt, mm. you know? Because savings, it was important, but it was not, it was not the thing. Mm -hmm. There was not that consistency. Mm -hmm. If they wanted, they could have, but they just didn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The second thing, uh, you save for your desires and ambitions and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he'll tell me. No, but yeah, th th those kinds of ambitions, uh -huh. you'd be like, I've, I've always wanted to do this, mm -hmm. you know, because uh, it's, it's, it's a fact. Uh, reaching for those dreams and ambitions it kind of fuels you to go to the next level. Mm -hmm. You know, you work so hard for a while, for like three years, you go and enjoy some good time in Mombasa or like Zanzibar or whatever, mm -hmm. and then you're like, bus. Next time, SA. Mm -hmm. And so you, you kind of do some work, you know, because you know at the back of your mind, I'm, I'm doing this for something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's not in vain. You understand? So for those ambitions, so that you it you also feed your soul. Mm, mm. With mm, you're saying such nice things this morning, child. So wow. Uh huh. You're asking nice questions. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Wait. Okay. In conclusion, as we wind this conversation up, yeah. which is quite unfair, honestly. But what happens? How do you get yourself out of a, a bad situation? Let's say maybe you didn't budget well. Life happens. So yeah, you find yourself at perhaps negative something mm -hmm. instead of zero, negative yeah, yeah. something. How do you get back on your feet? You downgrade. Yeah? Yeah, you downgrade. You just go low-key. If you're living in a two-bedroom, just eka ego kando, rudi chini. Hata kani bedsita itabidi umirudi uku so that you have something. But of course, uh, to most of us, ego plays a, a huge Very role. Big role. And you just can't take that. Mm -hmm. You, of course, you can't afford the house now, but you're like, uh, let me just copper, let me just take debt, let me just, you understand? Mm. Yeah, so you downgrade, so that, you see, the, the money you are supposed to like save, like pay debt, now you have a large chunk, because your, your expenses are lowered. Mm -hmm. If you are like fueling your own car and everything, you kind of downgrade. Mm -hmm. Take public service, like you just downgrade first. Uh, mm -hmm. if, if you settle things, now when I let I go back, when the leg na maisha. No, test mm. service. Yeah, right. test But at first, you just need to like, okay, the first, because you are earning, mm -hmm. understand? So it's either mm -hmm. you need to really improve your earning potential, which at that moment will be hard because you need to like invest in something. And if you invest, mm -hmm. it means you need to put in both time and money. Mm -hmm. Of course, money is now the problem. Mm -hmm. So money you cannot put in. Uh, you may look for a second job or a third or anything, but then it will still come back. Yeah, you get more money, you spend more. Unless you are able to like downgrade, mm -hmm. and then with GMBA too, uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not okay.
take things slow. Uh, whatever is surplus, you sort out your issues. It may take like six months or like one year, but at the end of it, you become a better person. Mm -hmm. You know, it's about who who will you be. You mm -hmm. know, yeah. You're a wise man, Tom Charles. We're going to take this conversation elsewhere Thank after you. this. Sasa unona shida shida tuni wa in the morning in Eshanga. Iyo tuni o shida. That's yeah. the only problem. Otherwise, ah. At Y254 Facebook, Y254 channel on Twitter, Y254 underscore channel on the gram. Hashtag of the day has been Y in the morning. Charles, would you like to say something before we close it up? Last remarks? Last remarks. Yes. Uh, for everyone? Yes, please. Money is hard to make. But easy to spend. But easy to lose. Ah, at a <laughs> Where? So make it, don't lose it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, our social handles, yes, if I may, yeah. It's Motisha Services on Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter. And for YouTube, it's Motisha Speaking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, personal uh, account on Facebook is at Tom Charles KE. Yes, if you want to reach us, you can holler us mm -hmm. at 0768 205 all right, you heard I can't take away or add on to that, but I can tell you to have a fantastic day from myself, Valentine, or at Kalami Val, from Stephanie Ayeta, from Brian Sokol 101. We wish you a fantastic day. We'll see you when we see you. Be good. <laughs>